Hello, you sweet mound of pure bliss. How are you tonight? I am doing fantastic. I have you set up a little differently tonight because of the fact that my ring light is reflecting big time off of the black paint. So I'm going to be doing my copper only Dutch pour. And I'm going to be designing it this way but you're going to be seeing it sideways unfortunately it's either that or you have a big glare so i do apologize but it is what it is you know um until you guys share my videos so much that i'm worldwide famous <laughs> and can afford a big white clean studio this is what it is. You know, I'm in my daughter's old room that I've turned into my little studio and I have to work with what I have. So anyway, if you saw the video before this, it was a Dutch pour all in gold, 24 karat gold. If you didn't see it, shame on you. Go watch it. I'm just kidding. Um, but I'm going to do another one of those this time with only copper and instead of on a white background, I'm going to try black. So this is going to be very challenging for me. I think for my copper, I'm using the deco art copper and Liquitex basics copper because they're two different shades and I'll show you really quick what I mean. So you can see this liquid text is a lot lighter than the uh, deco art. And I have these in my Amazon shop. I'm trying to be mindful to add everything that I use in a video uh, into my Amazon shop because I've been kind of lazy about that in the past and I'm doing that now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay down my colors and I'll explain what they're mixed with. Um, so this right here is black Walmart brand semi-gloss house paint for the walls. The colors are mixed three parts, vivid enamel, which I get from color art and one part polycrylic. And I will show you those bottles in a minute, but it's the same as I used in the gold one. The black that I'm going to be pouring through the colors is Carbon Black by Golden and Floetrol. That's it. And whatever consistencies these paints are, is what I make my cell activator. That's how I judge. So I make these paints first, and then I'm, what I'll do is I'll put a tablespoon of black paint in the cup, and then I'll add flow trial very slowly till I get to the same consistency. That's how I measure. So I put that deco art down, and now here is the Liquitex. I just like having a couple of different shades. Okay, and I think I'm going to do one more of those. Just want to make sure I have enough because it is a bigger canvas. This is a 16 by 20, I believe, black canvas. All right, so we have that down. So now what I'm going to do is put my black in a very specific way here. So I want to blow up, down, up, down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my black here. Okay, I'm going to put it through there. Then I'm going to come up here. Put 
because this area I'll be blowing down. Up. And then down. We'll see how that works. Now, I didn't do it like that last time. Last time I put it right through the center, but I want to try this. Let's see how it goes. And I'll add a little bit more over here. Now you can do this technique with regular um, Floetrol and paint. Canela Sirocco does Dutch pours all the time with Floetrol and paint. Rinse Gadowna does them with paint and water only. So you don't have to use this mixture. It's just I have the supplies and I want to use them up. My blow dryer, just so everyone knows, is an 1875 watt Jinri Paris Professional. And um, I find no matter what blow dryer I work use, it works. It's the consistency of the paints if your paint is not moving. All right, so I'm going to put it on low, cool, blow up. Now I'm going to come down. Way off. And down. Okay, I'm going to have to work on this with my little air gun because I went way too far off. Because now it's like kind of empty. <laughs> but that's okay. I'm not done yet. This kind of cool. It's just this one right here that it's like too empty down here. So let's see what we can do. It would help if I could look at the painting the way that I want to display it. That would be a really big help. And I apologize for my arm if it's in the way, which it, I know it is. The colors are very pretty. washed out a little bit. I'm going to try to blow it out a little bit more up there, I think. Mm. All right. <clears throat> We're getting somewhere. Got a nice little black ghost flame there. Or not flame, uh, ghost cell. And I got some copper down here I'll have to get rid of. All 
All right, let's see here. I just don't want it to be straight in areas. I don't like when it is straight. I like when it splashes out. It's funny, if you look at these colors from the side, like shift over them. Oh, they're so pretty. It's like black, but then you turn to the side and it's highlighting in copper. I'm really liking these one color uh, Dutch pours, just with the one color. I feel like this is empty for some reason, but I don't want to mess with it too much. Don't want to mess with it too much, she says, as she messes with it. <laughs> Tammy, don't touch the flame. It's very hot. Tammy now has no skin left on her fingertips. <laughs> All right, I'm almost done here. You know what it is? I'm going to blame uh, one of my viewers, Miss Angie Gall, that sent me this airbrush. Because once I pick it up, it is so hard to put it down. It's so addicting. I don't know how to hold it right, and I just love it. <laughs> they almost look like these weird shells we have in Connecticut. It's reminding me of something. It's reminding me of something. And I think I'm going to stop there because... Let me see what you guys are seeing. Oh, what you guys are seeing is not what I'm seeing at all. Like this whole area in here, there's all color in there. It is not translating good on the screen, but that's okay. I'll show you with the camera. Don't want to touch that. That's cool. That's cool. You know, I think that's going to do it. It's a little bit more right here. What can I say? It's just... So much fun, but I gotta fix this. Now I said this doesn't look right.
All right, it's not your typical Dutch, but then again, that's okay, right? We want something different. We won't, don't want the same thing over and over. I'll tell you what, I cannot wait to resin this one. It reminds me of an undersea kind of anomaly thing. Okay, now I'm done. Promise. I'm going to give you guys a close-up too. Okay, here we go. These were the ghost cells right here. That I was talking about. These are pretty cool. As I said, this this was not translating into the camera at all. This is the area that looks black in the camera, but as you can see, there's all color going through it. Oh, this is just going to be bananas with resin on it. Somebody asked me if I resin all my paintings. Yes, I do. Why? I just love the way it looks. Varnish makes the painting look shiny. Resin magnifies it. And I wish I had something to compare to, to show you guys. Like, see, there's all color in there, too. Um, I don't have any varnished paintings. But resin, just, it magnifies. It makes the the paint just pop. It makes the cells look bigger it, it's just it's gorgeous it's gorgeous so i do spend the extra money to buy that because i uh i just love it and if i bought a painting it's what i would want on my painting so I'm not saying varnish is bad because varnish is perfect too you know it's it's beautiful it makes a very shiny painting it's just i prefer the look of resin it looks like there's a glass layer over it. So there you go. Well, guys, thank you. Let's look at it this way. Thank you for uh, sticking with me and watching this video. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave them below. If you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. Uh, I would greatly appreciate it. If you ever want to share my videos, that helps the channel. Um, you know, it, it costs money to do this and I need all the help I can get. So sharing, telling your friends about the channel, um, posting it for your friends to see. That all helps tremendously. Watching the ads and the videos, all of that. And I want to just be able to continue to do this, you know. And um, I just appreciate everything that everybody's done for me. And I love you all. You all have become family. So make sure you check out my Facebook group. I have the link below. You can join up, um, send in your pictures, talk to Lisa and I. There's a couple of other YouTube artists in there that you could chat with. And it's a drama-free zone, people. Most importantly, <laughs> drama free. We we have our steel toe boots on waiting for somebody to cause trouble and they're kicked right out. So come on over to United We Pour with Tammy and Lisa. The link is below. All the supplies are in the Amazon influencer shop and uh, my Etsy store. 
I am stocking new paintings in there every day. This one will be listed in there tomorrow, along with yesterday's video, and some, um, probably about, <clears throat> excuse me, eight more paintings. I'm going to put an eye that's going to pop up at the top of the screen right now. Click on that and go over to my channel, my store, I mean. All right. So you guys have a great night and happy pouring.